Hello, this is XDLog, and in this tutorial I want to show you how to edit the landscape material so that you have a new painting layer, for example for snow. Um, at first you need to search for the normal ones. You can find them with mm underscore new island. There's this one and here we copy it into another folder. Here I use this new material folder. Copy here and the mi underscore new island. Make a copy of it too. So now we have both in. So you now should rename them. M M test and M I test. M M is the material and M I the material instance. name test so now we change the parent of the mi underscore now test here for this and change it so okay now our mm underscore test is the parent and we save this okay so now we want to edit a new texture so we need to open it and look inside this is how the texture looks inside So here you can see the textures and how it's built up. So <coughs> sorry. So what we do, we want to edit the snow. And for this, I open another. Um, I can find it. Click here on game. M M underscore snow biome. Here it is. We open it and it's the one that they use in the sniper snow biome. Yeah, it's, it's much smaller. Okay, and now what did we do? We check what uh, what is uh, yeah, linked to what? Uh, here in snow, I hope you can see this. We see um, that uh, it's here. Uh, the arc distance factor, and it's linked to a little, a little bit out. It's linked to the alpha here and to the alpha here. And you can see that. Okay, we go this. Deep snow. We don't need deep snow. Okay, and we see that snow layer. Yeah. We need this both layers. It's layer snow and high snow. And we see here the switch goes to the layer snow and this 
the mask A go to the height snow. So we can check here and see all the layers that are inside. We can check the first layer and note us what's changed. So most important is the name snow and the LB high blend. So what did we do? We now copy this here we check this snow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you need to copy it with yeah string C copy paste normal. Okay, I now copied it and go into my mm underscore test and with string uh, oh no, what's this? Yeah, I paste it. Now I can arrange it here. So here you can see there's a distance factor too. You can yeah click on it and bring it in position here, so it's easier to to uh, yeah make the lines. Okay, and I told you before that this both alphas was on the distance factor, so we take a line from here to this alpha, yeah, and to this. Okay, this is fine. Now we can move it back. Okay, and now we can go to this and here we see all the layers and now we edit a new layer. Here you use this adds element and now it's 26 and the last is our. Okay, now we name this snow like the other and change this to LB high blend. When this is made, you see here are two new layers, layer snow and height snow. Okay. We now drag this down too. It's much easier. Okay, now check what was bound here. Okay, so you see here the switch has this line to this the layer snow and this mask A here have the line to the height snow. We now make it the same. This switch goes to the layer and this A to the height. Yeah, and this is mostly all we need here in this. You can now save it. Now we can close both. Okay, and now you need the mi underscore snow biome and open it. We make this here a little bit smaller. Check. So, and it's, yeah, I put this down. So, now I can make this and use mi underscore test create yeah. 
Okay, create. <coughs> Yeah, it takes a little bit. Okay, and now you see in the paint. That on the last, there is snow too. Um, you need a little bit to compile the shaders new. Cause for every new, yeah, for every new landscape material you, you make, they, you need to recompile the shaders and you see yeah no you don't see uh, if we wait a little bit uh, he starts to to editing the the textures and you see oh it gets green like the grass and yellow like the sand and yeah he only needs a little bit time to compile all the shaders so what we now need to do we need to do with some editing in the MI so the mi underscore snow biome is still open. And now I open our here, test material, our new mi underscore test, because there are now some new things inside. Okay, here is mi test. I put them both in line. Hope you can see this. Good. Both a little bit smaller. Uh, okay. okay, I put this. Yeah. Okay, now you can see it a little bit better. So, okay, now we must uh, change. The things inside that are not, yeah, inside here in the, into that are not inside our new made material. So, yeah, shallow, shallow snow, snow. I don't know how to spell it. Here, this is normal, not inside, because there is no snow. So, okay, we find it here. Yeah, and we see nothing changed. So we don't need to change anything here. Then we see shared, shared here in two. Yeah, check. Anything changed? No. There's no inside. Okay, this is something we need. Here is snow, SSAO, minimum, here it's used. So we make some check here and put all the data here in. So you can do this with copy paste too. Yeah, okay, the rest is okay. This grass. Okay. Oh man. Okay, this looks good. This oh. Okay, here yeah, we can change this five. Two 
bolts we can check. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, that should be all. Now we save this and can hopefully test. Yeah, okay. Here you now can see the first textures are all compiled. So we now use normal grass. Grass, 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 all is green. So, now we can go in. This is a little smaller. 500. No brush offset and full strange. And even if it's not compiled, we use the snow. Okay, we need a layer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we use this normal snow layer. And now we need to wait. Okay, it can go on. And uh, now you see, oh man, I can paint snow. Yep, this looks good. Nice snow. Really easy. So, I hope this tutorial helped you to make your own textures or to copy the textures you needed into your own material. And yeah, check the next tutorials I will make and I hope this all help you. Bye!